there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's video, I am going to be showing you some of the books that I own that I absolutely adore, but for one reason or another, mostly because I'm intimidated by them, they just don't see enough love, or any love as some, some of them have no colored pages in them. But I wanted to share with you these, I think there's 10 of these, yes, 10 of the books that I adore that just don't get enough love. So let's get started. The first one is Fantasia. This one is by uh, Nicholas. I know that stands for Filbert, but I can't pronounce this last name. But I will hold it up so you guys can see the name. This book is gorgeous. It is spiral bound. <clears throat> so when you open it up, there's a nice spiral bound in there. The pages are perforated. The um, paper is, a, it's just stunning. Like the quality of the paper is the beautiful cardstock. Um, and so, and it's double sided. So you can't use alcohol markers, but you can use water mediums, which I have used in this book. Uh, and I just wanted to, I, w I would love to color in it. I mean, look at how beautiful both of these pages are. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, now we have, I have, um, my daughter has one whip in here that she started. Uh, which is this one here, which I'm going to pester her to finish at some point. And then I have one completed page, which is this one. And I just, I don't know, it's beautiful. It's really a beautiful book. I just have not colored in it. I don't know why, um, which I'm going to be saying a lot in a lot of these, but it's, yeah, it's, and there's all kinds of stuff in here to color too. It's not just super complicated or super simple or like this one's almost a, this one's like a mandala type you know it's just and it's just cool it's a very cool book and then you get back here and you've got roses and snowflakes you know it's all kinds of different things um yeah this is a book that i love that just does not get enough love for me so that is fantasia the next one i have is a newer book but still uh, I really want to color in it, and this one is one that would is more on the intimidating side for me. This one, it, uh, I love it. This is Wildwood Soiree by Annie Steg Gerard, so that's the name there. Uh, you can get this on her Etsy shop. Uh, in the back, she has printed images of what the coloring pages look like when she painted them, and then here are your coloring pages. And ugh. I just love these so much. And each one has a name and a place to put your name here. And there's another little um, motif on this side to color. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous book. And I did find out recently that these illustrations were used in a game called Raccoon Tycoon. <laughs> which uh, my brother now owns, so I will be playing here soon, hopefully. And I, I saw the artwork, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have those. I have those. So, yeah, maybe even a little bit more motivation to color in this now. So, so there is that one. That is Wildwood Soiree. Next, we have Fantasy Season. This is by, I can't remember, so I will, oh, Yukaku, Yukako Ode, I think. Uh, I got this on... Etsy, but I believe that you can get it on Amazon Japan. I will double check and everything will be linked uh, below in the description if I can find the links for it. Uh, this book is so cute and I have um, a whip and a couple of completed pages and this does go in uh, by the seasons. So, and I did these little guys. They were all cute. Uh, but each... Um, each month has several pages. So this one, so here starts January, then you have a couple of pages, and I did one of those in January last year. Tried my hand a little bit of uh, acrylic paint, um, Northern Lights kind of thing. Uh, and then I did in February, so here's a couple of the February pages. In February, I did this page, again, last year. Uh, you can see that it. you can use water mediums on here. It doesn't love the water mediums, but you can use them. So on the background here, I use some ink tents, but then I put like this, a, 
uh, I think it was like a glitter, purple glitter paint um, over top of it. Um, and then pencil on the rest of it, but yeah. Hopefully you guys can see that that shine. It's really fun. Uh, and then and then I haven't colored anything else except for one uh, one whip that I have in here. I love this page. I really wanted to color this one in May. You don't have to color it the same month it is. So the August ones. Let's see. Since this is August. Here are the August pages that are just, they're all so cute. So cute. All underwater scenes. These are adorable. Yep, and then that starts September. And then the whip that I have, oh, I guess I started a pumpkin. Well, that's good to know. Uh, I have this one, which is was kind of when I was trying to experiment with how I wanted to do the Northern Lights. And then I just didn't love, see, this is what it looks like when you first put the, the first layer of uh, water medium on there. It doesn't love it, but you can work with it. It just, you just have to, have to be patient and take your time. And you may have to do some pencil work over the top, which is what I ended up doing on this side. So, um, but yeah, once I finished this, I was like, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is a absolutely stunning book. I love it so much. Um, and then in the back here, you get some cute little postcards and tags and things. So, yeah, it's just really cute. Super cute book. So that is Fantasy Season. The next one I have, I cannot remember the exact name for it, but I think it's something like The Timekeeper. And I think this is a video game that you can play as well. Uh... I don't know the game, but I had, I think when I first got this, uh, and I did a flip through of it, someone had mentioned that it was a video game. It does come with this awesome little booklet. Oh, time traveler. Here it is. Yeah. That's what this is called. Uh, and it shows printed colored, um, images of all of the line work in. Yeah, it's just. They're so stunning. I, so the prints are stunning, and then you get into the line work, and it's just like, holy moly. The paper is gorgeous. It's all sewn together. I am very intimidated by this book. I've had this on piles to color here and there, and then I just can't go back and get it done. It's just so beautiful. This one would be cool. This one I had marked to color for last Halloween. I thought it would be really neat, but yeah, I didn't get to it because I just kept looking at it going, nope, I can't do that today. <laughs> but yeah, so this one is a beautiful, beautiful book. And that one is another one that intimidates me and does not see nearly enough love. Well, any love yet. I look at it and love it that way, but <laughs> I haven't actually colored in it. Okay, so the next one I have is Jasmine Beckett Griffith Fantasy Art Adventure. I do have a couple of finish pages and a couple of whips. However, I can't, I just haven't been back to it. I, I, again, this is one I pull out and I look at and I'm just, I just don't know. So there's a whip. I have a whole, it's all water mediums down so far. So there's some watercolors, some neo colors. And then I had planned to go back in with pencil and finish this up, but I just haven't, haven't gotten to it. There's another, there's ones here and there where I've started things with pencil or watercolor and just haven't been back to it. So here's one that I've been trying to finish for the past, I don't know how many years. I worked on this last Halloween. I love my little skeletons. <laughs> I just got to finish. There's another one started with water mediums. I think that's all neo colors. Yeah, it's a gorgeous book. So I've got these two little little guys done. I need to finish this whole page up, but um, yeah, those were fun to do. I like those little guys. This one's a whip. Here is one finished page. 
which I really like the way the cat turned out. I worked really hard on that one. My other finished page, I think we skipped over. Where'd it go? Where are you? Darn it. No. There it is. That's the other finished one I have. Um, yeah. And that's it in this book. But again, beautifully stunning book. Gorgeous paper. Gorgeous images. A little intimidating. But still beautiful. So that is Jasmine Beckett Griffith Fantasy Art Adventure. Next we have, actually I'm going to both bring both of these out because these are both of the books by uh, Emily Lita Hall Oberg. I think that's how you say it. I probably pronounced it wrong. But Sagnarok Sagnar and um, Fairy Tales book, which I love both of these. I think I have one finished image in both of them and I might have a whip in each of them as well. Um, but they're just, they're stunningly beautiful, gorgeous books. And I just don't give them enough love. So there's the whip that I have in here. And then I have one finished page, which is this one. This was a, I think a five color challenge or something. So, yeah, there is that one. Oh, and then that one. So this one I did using a, a tutorial by... I think it's Laura Colors 2 is the account name, but we used crayons on this, uh, and it was really fun. She showed how to use it for skin and stuff, and yeah, I really liked that. But yeah, so that is that one, and then in here, again, I'm going to show you a few of the pages, all double-sided images, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork that I, I open up and I start pages and then I don't finish. So these, this is all water medium so far. And then I was gonna go through and add like metallic stuff on the, the little base here in the top and color in the tree and then shade and I just haven't gotten back to it. This is what I did all using Neo Colors. I think that's it, yeah. Just little bits and pieces here and there and I've got notes of things started. Um, I did do a couple of things on the front and that's, yeah, that's it. So that is in Fairy Tales. Again, both, both of these absolutely stunning books that I love. I just, I don't get back to them very often. Okay, so the next one is one that I have not colored in at all because holy moly, it's just gorgeous. This is, I think, Girl with Music, I believe, is what this translates to. And I'm just going to do a flip a few of the images because, I mean, just look at that. And I've seen people do it. I know you can do it. I, I've, seen, <laughs> I've seen people color in it. But I just look at it. I'm just like, I love this so much and I don't know if I can make it look how I want it to look so I haven't gone back to get into these gosh they're so beautiful again this is just you know just looking at these is is fun just to see the the artwork is gorgeous I wish I I mean other than I can use Google Translate to see what this says but I wish I read Korean because of that um but then yeah in the front here they have some um printed images where you can look at the what other artists have done with that same with the same image which I just adore. I love seeing how people interpret different things. Look how beautiful that is. I mean come on. Ugh stunning. So yeah, so that is Girl with Music. I think that's by M Momo girl, Momo girl. I will have that on screen as well because I can't remember. Uh, the next one I have is The Mysterious Library, and this is by, who is this by? Does this say who this is by? Uh, Yunji Park, I think that's how you say it. Uh, this book is gorgeous, and it does take water mediums, so this is the back page, and I was experimenting there a little bit. It does take water mediums pretty well. They, you do have to be a little careful because it does get kind of buckly, but um, 
basically this this it follows this girl who goes through all these different stories and um she ends up in the stories in each of these and it's just gorgeous i do have a couple started so i have this one started i think i used um distress crayons on that i don't remember how i did it <laughs> So I'm going to have to see if I can recreate that. Uh, and then I do have one finished image and it's this way. I'll kind of show you a little bit. So nice vertical beanstalk. But this one was has um, chalk pastel in the background, neo colors on the image. And then I think Prisma colors probably. Um, and the page did get a little buckly, but not too bad. Not bad enough that it would bother me to use water mediums again. But yeah, so you can see here, she's just kind of walking into the book. I just love that page. And this one as well. So yeah, it starts there. Just a cute, cute book. So that is the Mysterious Library. And then last but not least is Zemdia Snova. I think that's how you say it. And... Yeah, this is by Thomas Tomic. I love this book. It's so gorgeous and so, so, so intimidating to me. And I don't know why. I do have one finished page, but that is it. I haven't started anything else. I have flagged some things that maybe I want to color in the future, but I have not started anything else in this book. I do really love the page that I finished, but gosh, look at that. It's so beautiful. So here's the page that I finished. So I've got the elephants done. I used a lot of different mediums on this. I don't think I used any water mediums, actually. Maybe I did. Maybe I based the elephants. I might have based the elephants with um, like neo colors, and then I used a lot of markers for the bright colors on the elephants' outfits. I think um, the ground had a base with maybe this was all. Gosh, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've colored in this, um, but I really love it. I I really like the way that this turned out, and I would love to do another one of these. But I just remember that book, that page taking so long that I was just like, I don't think I can ever color another page in this book. But I don't know. It's just, they're so beautiful. And I would love to have lots more of these colored. Gosh, I love this book. Oh, and I did start um, the little cover in one of the information pages. So, so there's those two. One more I almost forgot is Mouse Guard by David Peterson. This book is so cute. And I've seen so many people work in this. Again, I have, I think, a whip in here and then also a completed page or two. Maybe just one. I can't remember. But this book is, ugh, I just love it so much. And the paper in here is awesome. Um, I think I started something there. This one is started... Yeah, and then I just kind of froze. I didn't know what else to do after I did the background. Um, I do have the colors written down that I used, but that's not going to help me so much with the squirrels and chipmunks. And some of these are, are small enough that I could get that done pretty quickly. Uh, I don't know why I haven't come back to do it. Here's the one that I did. I think this is the only one that I have finished. But I really like it. I love the way it turned out. I used pencils on this, I think. Uh, a lot of people use ink tents in this book, and I am definitely going to be attempting that um, the next time I open this book to color. But yeah, just adore this book. Adore it. All right, so that was Mouse Guard by David Peterson. But yeah, that is it. So those are the books that I love that don't get enough love from me. <laughs> Hopefully I figured out how to say that a little bit shorter in the uh, video title there. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.